In this video, we're going to use PowerPoint to demonstrate how we can create the math picture puzzle. You notice we have one, two, three apples. And let's go to Google to see how we're going to find the apples. And you know this is relatively easy to do. So I'm just going to type in apple. And you can type in whatever you think you want to make these up. And I'm going to click here, click on images. And we're looking at some Apple images here. Here's a nice one. I'm going to click on it. There's your Apple. Now what we can do is copy this. You can right click and hit copy. But I want you to learn how to use the snipping tool. To do that, in the lower left hand corner of your screen, you have the icon from Microsoft. I'm going to click on all programs. And then I'm going to scroll down. And when I scroll down, I want to look for the folder called Accessories. Click on Accessories, and then I find Snipping Tool right here, and I copy it. And it makes it available for me to snip with. Now the Snipping Tool, I'm simply going to click on New, hold down my mouse, and you'll see some crosshairs here in a second. Let me try it again. Here's your crosshairs. And try to encompass the whole apple. Okay? Now... I go to my PowerPoint and I'm going to paste it relative to where these three apples are. Let me delete these three so you can see really or four, five, what we're going to do. I'm going to hit Control V to paste. There's my apple. I'm going to grab here, make it a little bit smaller, and put it right about here. Now, if you look carefully, see how it covers up the plus? Okay. That's because we have a white background. I'm going to click on the apple. In my upper left hand corner it says remove background and what I'm going to do here is pull the background down that high and pull it up here and pull it to the right. So we're only going to get rid of the background that encompasses the uh, the apple. And click on it and it's gone. Now watch. When I slide it over. See? It's not there. Now, how do you get three apples? Well, it's highlighted. Simply hit Control in the letter D. Control D for dupe. Okay, so I'm going to put one here and put one here. Obviously, you want to get rid of the background and make it the right size to begin with. Then I'm going to hit Control D again and move it right down here. Okay, and we had another one, right? Control D. <laughs> I'll move it right down here. Now, all you need to do here is just change the value, right? So we have ten, these are each worth 10. If we want to make them worth, um, let's say, 20, 20, 40, you make this number, change it to a, a 60. Okay, I found this on the web for 10. Change that to a 60, right? And you can do the same things down here. But I'm going to change it back. Okay, whoops, I move this down. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that we have a 10 here, plus we have 1, 2, 3, 4 apples. I mean, <laughs> 4 bananas and 1, 2, 3, 4 bananas. So, here's 4 and 4, so 10 plus 8 is 18. Here we have uh, 4 bananas again, minus the coconut. So, the coconut must be worth 2. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. And then the last thing, for them to pay close attention... Here we have 10, right, plus only two bananas, plus only half a coconut, so that's one. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer they'll have to place here is 13. Now, you can make these images anything that's reasonable. Trucks, boats, planes, whatever you have. And if you look at my website, I've got all that to allow you to do it. Let me show you. On the website, I'm going to, I'm going to go to um, the Internet again, and I'm going to go to my website, and I'm going to use Internet Explorer. Okay, on the website, I'm using Internet Explorer because what we're going to do is we're going to need it in Flash. So, worksheets and more. So, I'm going to click here, scroll down, and it says Time Clock. And I'm going to click here in the Time Clock software. Now, you can do this in your lesson if you like, or just do this at any time. I'm going to make this available for you. Obviously, it's available for you. 
when we click on this it'll come up here in a second here we go and math look I'm gonna hit start and here's the clock it's really big I'm gonna click on view zoom and I'm gonna make it 75 okay now you have your snipping tool open right so if you wanted to well first of all you can change this to anything you want anytime you want I'm just gonna leave for the heck of it at five o'clock I click on the snipping tool I have an apple and I wish to copy this so I hold down my snipping tool and I copy it and then if I wanted to I will just for the heck of it I'm gonna place it right here hit control V to paste it I'm not going to use it in this lesson but I just want to show you how to do it and you place it right here now remember if you double click on the image you click on remove background right and I'm gonna move this arrow down here move it move this over here to the left and move this over here to the right and move this up okay and click on it and now the background's gone see when I put up here it's not covering it okay that's how you would use the website if you want to use a, use a clock let me get rid of this one okay now we want to put a line around this it's done very easily you click on the word insert shapes rectangle hold down your left button on your mouse highlight your math okay now we have a, a shape fill here but we want to get rid of that so at the top you click on no fill okay and for the color I'm gonna click on black and I click on the shape outline again for weight I'm gonna make it this size and there we go so now you have it situated inside here is the um, shape and the figure everything that you need now I provided for you the word document so I'm going to click here and get rid of this one okay it's gone now you should get rid of this one as well I will just delete it and you want to make two two math problems I'm gonna go back to my PowerPoint and I'm going to hit the shaping or snipping tool hit new and I'm going to hold down my left button and highlight get it all in there okay go back to my word document that I've created for you and hit control V to paste it now grab the corner make it smaller and you can't move it until you click on it and hit text wrap tight or if you like you can hit text wrap uh, oops mm. double click on it text wrap in front of now I want to put lines around it so while it's highlighted simply click on your little down arrow and there you go and then you can make this a little bit bigger and then you would repeat the same process for your next slide now let me go back to PowerPoint and what I'm going to do here is I you see where I have the mouse on the slide I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate why do I want to duplicate it because from this point on I can just put a boat, a plane, whatever I want, and everything else is all set up. Then I just simply have to change the, the numbers. That's it. That really makes things simple. Then when I'm done, I copy and paste this and place it on the other side of this. Okay? And then you would submit this to me as a Word document. And then I'll put the video up above. Make sure you also include the answers that go here. Okay, that would make things extremely helpful. All right, if there shouldn't be any questions, and hopefully that covers everything. Well, thank you. I hope this works well.